Yeah, Amanda John, Senator Kirsten Sinema became the first Democrat elected to the U.S. Senate from Arizona in 30 years when she narrowly beat Martha McSally in 2018. Since taking office, she has touted her bipartisan nature. She is seen as a moderate in a polarized Washington, and it's her objection to ending the filibuster that's irritating some Democrats. Democrats have narrow control of both houses of Congress. The Senate currently has 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans. Vice President Kamala Harris is the tie-breaking vote, the vote that gives Democrats the majority. And on Tuesday, President Biden said a couple Democrats in the Senate are sometimes roadblocks in moving his agenda forward. I hear all the folks on TV saying, why doesn't Biden get this done? Well, because Biden only has a majority of effectively four votes in the House and a tie in the Senate with two members of the Senate who vote more with my Republican friends. But we're not giving up. One of those senators is Arizona's Kirsten Sinema. Sinema was in Tucson Tuesday alongside her Republican colleague John Cornyn of Texas. The pair were pushing a bipartisan border bill just introduced. Sinema's a supporter of the filibuster, a rule in the Senate that says in order to end debate on legislation and bring a vote to the floor, a supermajority of 60 votes is needed. I've long been a supporter of the filibuster because it is a tool that protects the democracy of our nation. Rather than allowing our country to ricochet wildly every two to four years back and forth between policies. Bonnie Heidler is the chair of the Pima County Democratic Party. She says her phone rings a lot with frustrated voters on the other end. Washington is just bottleneck. They don't do anything. Uh, what good is government? I don't want to hear that because there is a lot of good. Some say cinema should reconsider her position on the filibuster. I would hope that any senator that is from Arizona, that is a Democratic senator, would be wanting to push Democratic agendas forward. That's why we voted to turn, uh, finally flip, the Senate. The reality is, is that when you have a system that's not working effectively, and I would think that most would agree that the Senate's not a particularly well-oiled machine, right? The way to fix that is to change your behavior.